We are in fact making progress on reducing the risk for a virus in teens that can cause cancer. And joining us now with what parents need to know about it is health anchor Liz Bonus. Liz. Hey guys, good afternoon to you. Encouraging news today on HPV in teenage girls. It comes from the Centers for Disease Control, their annual Epidemic Intelligence Service Conference. And since the HPV vaccine was introduced about 10 years ago, it has reduced the prevalence among teen girls of this virus by 86%. Now this was uh, when they looked at girls ages 14 to 19 years old in the United States. It was down 71% in women 20 to 24. Infectious disease specialists say this could reduce uh, or make a big difference in what they call a preventable epidemic. HPV, as you know, is the human papillomavirus. It is a sexually transmitted disease which raises the risk for certain cancers. Dr. Robert Tracy of St. Elizabeth Healthcare, who you see here, says it is now recommended before a child is sexually active. That the earlier we give it, the better the immune response is. So we're now trying to target kids at around 11 years of age. In fact, Healthy Planet, their goal by 2020 is to have 80% of the children vaccinated at, that are 13 to 15 years of age um, by the year 2020. Now this vaccine recommended for teen boys and young men as well, but it wasn't pushed for guys quite as early as it was for teen girls, which is why the girls have been the population that they tracked. This report does say that genital HPV prevalence remains high in men, even though this vaccine is available to prevent it. In most cases, this is covered by medical insurance plans and available at your primary care doctor's office. Guys, thank you.